Hello guys, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPP Nuts video series on C++ 11 series. And you already know the video title like return multiple values from a function. So before C++ 11, if we have some function and this is the body and this is where the return type goes, right? Here, we always have an option to give singular type, meaning a single type. And from here, you can just return something which is like a single entity. So first we learn like integral data types returning like integer character and all that stuff, which is like built in data types. And then we go for C or C++ higher side. There we see classes and structs. So if you create an object and you fill so many data members in that, then you can return this particular object from here and that way you are kind of returning multiple values from a function. And that seemed little overkill just to return multiple values, you had to create a class. This was not good idea, but people were referring, I mean, considering structs little lighter side than the class. So we were preferring like using structs to return multiple data types. But C++ onwards, we have a mechanism where you can just return multiple data types under the hood of something called std tuple. So this is provided. This is a template class. You can have as many data types as you want. It's variable. So let me show you the example for better understanding. So for simplicity, I will take, uh, let's say integer std string and maybe char. Okay. And we have T here. So let fill the values maybe one cvp nuts and here goes some character a now if i want to print it or i want to just get it so what i told you is if this is what i want to return like if this is my data i want to return from some function i can just simply put it like this and return from some function okay now the question comes like how i'm going to get all these like one cpp nerds a how i'm going to get it there is a function for that let me show you we can have get and then we have to tell the index like zeroth index is like we are asking for this one and we have to tell from which tuple that's it you have it similarly see out if you want to get the first one then you have it and the last one which is at second position correct so here I'm just trying to get the values from this tuple T, which I have received from somewhere. So let me compile this. It is compiled successfully. If I want to print it. Okay. See, we have one CPP nerds and then A. So this is how you get the value. There are so many things you can do with this tuple, like you can append. So see, it makes your life so easier. C++ have so much to offer but still people consider it very old language. So thanks for watching guys. Bye bye. Take care. I will see you in the next videos.